Greetings, Hans Schaefer, Senior Vice President of Product and Strategy with Volkswagen Group America. Very excited to be here with a good friend of mine, Jamie Orr, our Volkswagen brand ambassador and vehicle enthusiast. Jamie, welcome. Thank you. This, this feels like a huge day. Right. It is a, it's a pretty big one. So before we dive into this car, a little bit of logic and rationale, I think, behind this vehicle. Crossboard has been an immensely popular vehicle for us in the Volkswagen brand. It is a car that has been sold primarily on design, believe it or not. Most of the customers choosing the Crossboard because of its design. Uh, and I think because of that success, we as a, as a corporation really felt like we wanted to push that envelope. And uh, it made logical sense to collaborate with you. It is such a striking design. And ever since the Atlas Crossboard was announced, I really fell in love with it. So getting the opportunity to sort of, well, turn it up to 11 has right. been an absolute dream. Yeah. And I think that's been all the commentary. The commentary has been the body style so beautiful, the car so beautiful. Could this vehicle get any more sportier? And I think that's the challenge we put across to you in this build and concept. Um, so let's get right into it, Jamie. I mean, talk. I, th I think what probably pops the most is the color. Should we start right there? So this is Ice Vogel Blau, which translates roughly into Kingfisher Blue. And if you see a photo of a Kingfisher, it makes a lot of sense. This color has been available on select products in Europe, but this is the first time ever in the US market it's been on a vehicle. This was actually painted here at the home of the Atlas Crossborn, Chattanooga, Tennessee, as a one-off by the factory before then being sent up to me. So the vehicle was assembled here in Chattanooga, then went off to your shop. I noticed the color's different. I also noticed that a lot of the chrome's gone and uh, we got some beautiful piano black pieces all over the front. We, we did remove the beautiful chrome and re replaced it with this deep gloss black. And then we've got the custom GT badging and those blue touches and modifications continue the whole way back through the car. And I see those large 21 inch wheels have got even larger. Yes, we went up to 22 inch wheels with the aero discs that are in the matching ice Vogel blue. Yeah, I saw the different brake calipers. Those are beautiful. And then I also noticed she's sitting a little lower. I, I like that you're such a big car person. Yeah, eight, <laughs> eight piston calipers that I have driven cross country, tested on track. It fits perfectly with it and it can be raised and it has adjustable dampening as well. So fully adjustable. And then I see those beautiful piano black pieces go right around the back. They wrap the rear end of the car. But I guess my burning question is it's very sporty on the outside. Does that match on the interior? I think even more so. So if you want to grab a seat, I will meet you in there. I'm going to jump in the back. Oh, oh this is impressive. So I'm used to seeing a bench out back here on the crossboard. Jamie, talk me through this rear configuration. Of course, you're right. Yes, the Atlas Crossport is normally a five-seater with the bench seating, but we changed the floor pan. And with Recaro, we did go full custom with the four-seater layout and the seats that were made as a one-off set only for this project. Wow. And I love the colors. I love the blue. I love that it matches the exterior. And I see that blue also cascades throughout the rest of the cockpit. It, it absolutely does. The seat belts try and bring the ice Vogel Blau inside. So does the center of the steering wheel. And then, yes, the same material from the seats is repeated on the door cards through to the custom gear selector. That is so cool. And talk to me about the center console. I, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, pop it up. Yeah, we've got a little surprise underneath here. So it is the same design as the front move back, but that is a OEM genuine Volkswagen accessories safe, which you can buy it for the front, but we repeated it in the rear there. That is pretty awesome. And I see the blue accents on the floor mats. So that blue concept just really pops. Very sporty on the interior, also very sporty on the exterior. That shift the knob is connected to the standard transmission? No, we did go a little bit crazy under the hood as well. Just turn, again, turning up to 11. But if you want to take a jump out, we can, uh, we can talk about that over Let's there. do that. And you've got the VW puddle lights as we jump out on the ground. Oh, that's very neat. So to match that sporty interior that you just saw, yes, under the hood, a little bit more power. Oh, okay. so. This to me looks like a four-cylinder, which I'm very excited about because crossboard four-cylinder really has started increasing in terms of installation, right? I'm guessing it's not the stock four-cylinder out of the current crossboard, right? It is the, the same architecture, so the EA AAA that underpins the normal Atlas crossboard, but this exact motor is from the Volkswagen Golf R. So it's high 300s, which is very capable of, but we did also change the transmission to, well, the biggest and baddest DSG transmission available in the group. That is pretty cool. And that's still mated to the normal four motion system. Absolutely, yeah. Everything else is really, really capable on road, on track. But yes, this one will shift faster and makes a whole lot of fancier go faster sounds. Awesome. Jamie, thank you so much. I think in my opinion, a concept on the exterior that is super sporty. I love the four-seater concept. I love the Recaros. 
um, and even under the hood uh, and, and with a transmission, something that's even a little bit sportier. So from my side, thank you very much. I think this car is awesome and I think it's going to gain a lot of attention. I'm so glad you think so. Again, so much hard work by everyone in the production plant and design team. The Atlas Cross Sport and Standard Form is phenomenal. So it really was a lot of fun turning it into a little bit more. Awesome. All the best. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you.